Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to update your netrooted or modded Nexus 6P from the N2G 48B to the new August N2G 48C build of Android Nougat. So uh, today we'll be using Flashfire to do this, and I'll be showing both or steps for both uh, SuperSU users as well as Magisk users. Now, uh, let's get started, shall we? So we'll be using Flashfire. So there are a few things we need to download, of course, and uh, we'll just switch to that right now. First off, you'll need to download these either on your phone or just just have these files on your phone. Uh, whether you copy it from your computer or download it from Chrome or whatever it is on your phone. Uh, either way, as long as these files are on your phone one way or another. So first off, we need to download the factory image or full OTA, but I do prefer the factory image because of its um, usability in different scenarios. So we're going to click on Angular for Nexus 6P on the side or just scroll down till we see it. And we're going to download the latest one here for August and click on this blue link over here. Next thing you want to have is Flashfire of course on your phone. You can download this from the Google Play Store. Now last, uh, this is the optional one and that is Magisk. So if you're using Magisk you probably want to download this and download the latest version of the Magisk zip file here. And that is all you need to have if you want to use Magisk or switch to Magisk that is as well. So once you've got those three or two files downloaded we can head back to our phone here and currently I'm just going to show you, uh, we're going to open up Flashfire. You might have to wait for it to load everything. Now after that we're going to tap on Flash Firmware Package. Now this is true for the uh, full, sorry, the factory image. I'm not sure about the full OTA, that might be the zip or OTA selection. But I'm going to select my factory image and I'm going to uncheck the recovery image. I'm going to hit tick. Now this, this might have to uh, load up a cache or something like that for the firmware package so you might have to wait a little bit longer for that. Now if you're using SuperSU and you want to continue using SuperSU all you have to do now is hit the flash button on this one or that one and uh, wait for it to go through its rebooting sequence but for those using Magisk you want to do the following you want to disable inject SuperSU you want to tap on reboot and you want to tap on recovery and you want to uncheck preserve recovery. Now we need to do this manually because of uh, some, I guess, weird thing happening where Magisk can't use Magisk mount to, or Magic mount to mount the the Magisk image to forward slash ma Magisk on the phone. Now I've looked at the logs in Flashfire, and it also says the cache partition could not be mounted. So I'm going to be flashing Magisk in TWRP instead manually. So that's why we reboot into the recovery after everything is done. But if you're using SuperSU, you don't need to change anything, pretty much. And now we hit Flash, hit OK. I'm going to wait for Flashfire to load its stuff. And once it's loaded everything, we are going to... Or our, my phone is going to reboot into TWRP for us to Flash Magisk. Uh, but for those using SuperSU, your phone will just reboot normally. and might take 2-3 to three minutes to boot up. And after that, you should be rooted and on the latest version of Android with the August security update. So here we are just flashing the system image. I'm going to fast forward this a little just till we get into TWRP. And obviously for those using SuperSU, you just need to wait for your phone to reboot into Android. So I'm going to fast forward this and we'll see all flash magic after this. Okay, so... My phone's rebooting into TWRP, and so should everyone that wants to use Magisk or continue to use Magisk. Now, obviously, for those using SuperSU, like I've said before, you should be rebooting normally back into Android already. So, uh, for those using Magisk, we're going to swipe to allow modifications, tap on install, locate to wherever you copied the latest version of the Magisk zip file, and swipe to confirm flash, and that's all you have to do. Now, you can see this one works fine, and this will, in fact, actually, you know, uh, patch the boot image and prepare the Magisk image as well. So we're going to tap Reboot System and our phone should be fine and dandy after this. So I'm going to fast forward this step of course until we reach Android and we'll see that Magisk still works and that our rooted apps still work and that we're on the latest version of Android. Okay so we're just loading back into Android here. And you can see that's fine and we're just finishing an Android update. I'm going to quickly go into the settings and just have a look and check that we're on the latest version of Android here. So I'm going to scroll down all the way about phone and 
August 5th security patch level and we have the N2G48C here which is uh, fantastic now we'll check out Magisk Manager fingers crossed and yes we are still rooted which is great um, if you're using SuperSU you can obviously check that um, by yourself and we'll also double check safety net status and that should say AOK -okay, which it is next we'll have a look at flash fire to make sure that root access works and it does so I guess thanks for watching guys uh, sorry I've been pretty inactive for the past two weeks and uh, hopefully I can spice that up a little bit change it up a bit I do have some videos coming up uh, you can probably see me working on some well I am working on some I can let you know that much and hopefully I'll be able to have a, no. and hopefully I'll be able to put out two uh, different videos here or later on I'm not too sure how long but yeah sometime in the future so thanks for watching guys if you have any other suggestions that you might want to see in a future video feel free to let me know and um, I can only really cater for two devices here which is the S8 or S8 Plus well I do have the S8 Plus and of course our beloved Nexus 6P so I'll be able to do coverage on both of these devices and not so much on any of my older ones uh, obviously I do have a Z3 Compact just lying there it's a bit broken but I might be able to start making videos on that as well so I guess keep an eye out for that. Uh, anyway, thanks guys for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one.